Listen, we all make mistakes. There's so many things in this game that you can easily forget about. Even I have made a few of these mistakes myself. Let me tell you the mistakes that you should not be making. The first thing is not picking up every material. When you're starting off the game, be sure to pick up every single material. Somewhere down the line, you're gonna need to use that material. Obviously, when you've gathered enough, you might not need that material anymore. But at the start of the game, pick up everything you see. Also, be sure to store those materials in the chest so that you can save space for your item pouch. Majority of the times, it would be herbs or berries or insects that will be taking up your item pouch space. So be sure to put them into the chest so that you can save space for other stuff. Not keeping herbs and honey in the item pouch. There will be some fights where you're gonna use a lot of potions. And when you run out, well, good luck on trying to not get yourself killed. Keep herbs and honey in the item pouch so that you can instantly craft more potions, especially mega potions. Not using the item wheel. Okay, this is more of my preference, but I feel like it's much more easier to use the item wheel rather than using the bar. Be sure to customize the item wheel and change it in a way to fit your playstyle. I like to make sure I at least have potions and equipment set up on the wheel. That way I can easily use them rather than scroll through the bar and get myself killed because I was too focused on the bar trying to find the right item. Not using your equipment. If you don't use boosters or mantles, you're going to make fights more difficult than necessary. Remind yourself to use them because they can be really helpful. Take for example the health booster. That right there is a free potion that comes back once it's off cooldown. That's also another thing to remember and that's the fact that the equipment has cooldowns, meaning that they can be used an infinite amount of times. You just need to wait for them to come back. Talking about equipment, don't forget to look at the side quests. Some mantles and boosters are hidden behind side quests. Be sure to look at them because as I said, those equipments can really help with your fights. If you don't have time to get them all, I say for sure get the rock steady and temporal mantle. These two mantles are probably the best mantles in the game. Search up on how to get them because I don't exactly remember how I got them. Look at the events. Since every event is available at all times, except for a few, all of these events can give you access to a bunch of different monsters to fight. If you have the Iceborne DLC, I think you should hunt down the Gold Raffian because it gives you one of the best armor set bonus skills, Divine Blessing Secret. This basically gives you Divine Blessing level 5, which is one of the best damage reducing skill out there. Obviously you're gonna have to get a good armor set to fight this guy because it is quite a difficult fight. Leveling up low ranked armor. Do not do this. If you're playing through the game and you're fighting a monster that kills you in one or two hits, then you should think about forging new armor. Do not upgrade low level armor. If you're in low rank, and you get the ability to forge high ranked armor, then do that. Forge an armor set of a monster that you've recently killed. If you have the Iceborne DLC and you're on high rank, it also goes the same way for high rank going into master rank. Build armor sets from master rank. It can be the full set of a monster you've recently killed, but just know that you'll eventually move away from simply building armor sets from those recently killed monsters. You should start to look into building custom armor sets to suit your needs, whether that be improving your gameplay with a specific weapon, or improving your resistances or defenses against a monster. Look into building proper armor sets when you're deeper in the game, and then you can figure out whether to level up your end game armor pieces. Not knowing how your weapon works. Before you get into any fight, you need to know how your weapon works. If you think you can just pick up another weapon and run into a fight, you're gonna die. Or you're not gonna deal as much damage as you should. Look at tutorials people have made for learning how to use whatever weapon. Unless you want me to create a tutorial for each weapon, drop your comment down in this video if you want me to do a tutorial for the Monster Hunter World weapons. Although as I've said, people have already done that. so. You can go ahead and look at other people. Not learning another weapon. Of course, you can play the game with one weapon. It is totally doable 
to play the game with one single weapon. The only thing about that is you're making the game harder for yourself. Since we don't have all the time in the world, it is way more efficient to learn another weapon rather than waste your time on using a single weapon and dying multiple times on a monster. Learn another weapon. Some monsters are much easier to fight against with a different weapon. Not building multiple armor sets. If you're using more than one weapon and you haven't built an armor set for the weapon, you are making a mistake. There are some skills that can enhance the gameplay of a weapon. Skills like constitution or focus. If you're not forging a bunch of armor sets for your weapon, just like in learning another weapon, you're missing out on making your gameplay more efficient. This also goes the same way for fighting monsters. There are some monsters that become much easier to fight against when you have set up an armor set to counter the monster's elements or ailments. Take Gold Raffian for example. I built a set to counter its poison and fire attacks by having the corresponding resistances. Poison and fire resistance. I also have thunder attack set to its max level because it's weak to that element. Obviously you need to fight the monster enough times to learn its weaknesses in the hunter notes. Just remember that you can save whatever armor set you've created by pressing the manage loadouts button and press the save equipment loadout button to save the set. Not taking your resistances seriously. Take a look at your armor set. If one of the elements is a negative number and you're fighting a monster that uses that same element, I think you're gonna need to change your armor set. When you take a hit from the element, let's just say fire for example, if you take any fire damage, you do know you're gonna take more damage from that fireball. Whereas if you had an armor set with a higher resistance, you probably survive maybe four or three fireball attacks before you're dead. Instead of just taking one hit and you're just hella dead. Read the hunter notes. If you want to know the weakness of a monster, look in the hunter notes. If you're not doing that, then you're gonna miss out vital information about a monster. For example, cutting off Raffian's tail will neuter its poison attacks, meaning that you get rid of its poison attacks. Read the notes. Not using the environment to your advantage. Whether it's a slope that you can slide on, or a wall you can jump off from, or even a tiny ledge. You should be making full use of the environment to either mount the monster or do special attacks. The dual blades is one of those weapons that can use the ledge or slope to do that cool spinning attack on titan attack on the monster. Not using the clutch claw. For people who have the Iceborne DLC and you're not using the clutch claw, you are missing out on huge damage. Go and grab some sling ammo, clutch claw on the monster's face, and if they're facing the wall, fire off your slinger by pressing R2 or RT and see the monster slam their face into the wall. Not only are you doing massive damage when they slam into the wall, it gives you the chance to get free damage. Now if the monster isn't facing the wall, make sure to jump on the monster's face when they're close to a wall, then press the circle B button to change the direction the monster is facing. You can only slam the monster into the wall when you have sling ammo and the monster isn't enraged. You can tell if the monster is enraged by looking at the map and if the eye icon is red, then don't do the wall slam because it won't work. Getting up early. If you got hit and you're lying on the floor and you see the monster going on a rampage, just lay there. You're literally invincible to any attacks until you get up. I used to mash the evade button to get up quickly, but that can get you lined up for another attack and then you're dead because you didn't heal yourself. Don't be dumb, just lay there and find the right time to get up. Now obviously you can't lie there forever because your character will just automatically get up, but it should be enough time to think about when to get up. Of course this does not work if you get grabbed and thrown somewhere. At this moment, the only way to get out of this is to use a flash. Otherwise, good luck. Forgetting about the Superman dive. Don't forget, there's literally a dodge that can make you invincible. This can save you in so many situations and yet some people just don't use it. I just don't know why. You, all you gotta do is sheath your weapon, run in the opposite way of the monster with your back facing the monster and press the evade button. That's it. That's all you gotta do. And lastly, forgetting about the bounties. I totally forgot about them when I got deeper into the game. They are your easiest way of getting armor spheres, which are used to level up your armor. 
be sure to look at the registered bounties as they refresh each time you complete one. And check the limited bounties that change on a daily basis. That's all the mistakes that I could think of. Obviously, there might be a few more mistakes that I haven't mentioned. So drop it down in the comments below. It might help someone out. Oh, well, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. And I shall see you guys later. Oh my god, and that. Please, did you have enough? I should have just dodged. <laughs> should have just dodged. I should have dodged. I don't dodge things. <laughs>